Hello everyone, Namaskar, Rajkrishna this side and today we are going to solve one more problem from partial differential equation. Now it's a problem from non-homogeneous partial differential equation because you see the powers are not same everywhere. So in this type of problem first we try to resolve uh, this into factors which I can see is not possible in this case because we can't further factorize d minus d dash square. So for that we uh, have already discussed a method to write complementary function in this case because complementary function is given by summation a e power hx plus ky now we have to write either h in terms of k or k in terms of h by this relation function of h comma k equals to 0 and how will you get this just put d as h and d dash as k so h minus k square equals to 0 so from here you get h equals to k square so now put this value of h back in that equation where you are finding the complementary function. So this is summation a e power k square x plus k y. Fine. Now our task is to complete it to find the complementary function. Now let's find our particular integral. which will be the same in this case also. So particular integral will be 1 upon whatever is the function which is d minus d dash square. This will be operating on cos x minus 3y. Now whenever we have cos a x minus b y or sin e x minus b y what we do we replace d square by minus of a square d d dash and d dash square by minus of b square so i have a d dash square i can't replace d by anything but d dash square i can replace by minus of b square b here is minus of 3 in itself b square will be 9 and minus of b square will be minus of 9 so if i put that here so minus 9 and minus 9 plus 9 so your particular integral is 1 upon d plus 9 operating on cos x minus 3 y Let's rationalize this. So d minus 9, d plus 9, d minus 9. I am doing this so that I can get a power 2 which I can again replace by these things. So cos of x minus 3y is what it is operating on. So I will get d minus 9 and d square minus 81 and this is cos x minus 3. Now d square can now be replaced by minus of a square a is 1 a square will be 1 minus of a square will be minus of 1 so minus 1 minus 81 minus 82 so pi is uh, minus 82 so minus 1 by 82 can I take that out and d minus 9 now operating on cos x minus 3y d is nothing but d by dx so pi is is minus 1 by 82 d by dx of sorry del by del x of cos x 
cos x minus 3y and minus 9 times cos x minus 3y. So your pi is minus 1 by 82. If you are doing partial derivative with respect to x, then uh, terms of y is to be treated as constant. So first derivative of cos will be minus sign x minus 3y and then you go inside. So derivative of uh, x is 1 and that of 3y minus 3y is 0. So you get this and minus 9 times cos x minus 3. I don't think you can make more changes other than taking minus sign out which will anyway cancel. So you are getting pi as 1 by 82 and uh, you are getting sin x minus 3y plus cos x minus 3y. There you get your CF and your PI. So finally as we have the habit of writing z equals to CF plus PI. What was your CF? Summation A e power h was k square x then plus ky and the pi which you have got is 1 by 82 sine of x minus 3y plus cos of x minus 3y. So that's how we uh, did this problem. Let's uh, analyze this once again in a smaller picture. So it started off, we can't factorize. It's a non-homogeneous, you all know. And in non-homogeneous also, we can't factorize this d minus d dash squared. So what we did is we direct have a direct formula to find C here, which is summation a e power hx plus ky. We use that. We write h in terms of k. Fine. Then cf was done. Then we move to pi. You already know that we replace d square by minus a square. So what whichever can be replaced, whichever can be replaced, we replace that. So d dash square we replace by minus of 9. So that's uh, how we did. Then we rationalized in order to get a square in denominator. Then, then we separated. Capital D is nothing but del by del x. So partial derivative with respect to x. And finally we got the answer as summation a e power k square x plus k y 1 upon 82 sin x minus 3 y plus cos x minus 3 y. So that's how we did. I hope you learned at least something from this video for more such videos on partial differential equation you can always visit my playlist on the same thanks and have a nice day